how many times has this happened to you? You're walking along in the grocery store or something, and suddenly your mask slips, your nose pops out. Maybe you don't notice, but either way, you continue walking and doing your shopping, but suddenly you're approached by a person and they say, Excuse me, you're not wearing a mask properly? And then you would say, Oops, yeah, my, my bad. And then they would say, No, too late, you're wrong. Off with your dong. No, please, I'm, I'm sorry. You may have thought that intro was a parody, a joke, a mockery of some straw man of a woke tart or something. And my friends, I really wish it was. Unfortunately, that skit, although a bit exaggerated, it's not that far off from what we're going to be looking at today. Look, with the pandemic, we're all going through a tough time right now with the mass unemployment, massive amounts of people getting sick. So considering the chaos swirling around this country, what do you think we all need right now? No, not stimulus checks, a swift dash of misandry. Coming to you fresh from the New York Times. Is mask slipping the new man spreading? Welcome back to another episode of The Liberals Are At It Again. Something about men just makes it difficult to keep that mask where it should be. Just no, no, no. When I saw Bill Clinton's mask slip below his nose during the inaugural festivities, I figured, well, it could happen to any of us. I don't know, something about Bill Clinton and slipping just eh, doesn't sit right with me. But then John Roberts' mask was not entirely covering his nose at different points. Uh-oh, I'm starting to see something that makes these people similar. I think they're both white. And even Barack, o oh, I'm wrong, sorry. And even Barack Obama's mask dipped below the tip of his nose at one point. Oh no, not Obama. Come on, man, we would expect better from you. A couple months back then, President Trump's economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, was spotted outside the West Wing with his mask down. <gasps> I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that the thing that's connecting all these people is that they have a penis. They're not all connected by one giant penis. It's like they all- the similarities here is that- okay, enough penis talk. I realized it's not a democratic thing, or a republican thing, or an inaugural thing. Please don't say it. Please. You've already implied it enough. I don't need to actually hear you say it. It's a male thing. Oh god. It's like man spreading, but with masks. Call it man slipping. Can we stop combining words with man? Because every time you people try and do that, it turns into a man soon of stupidity rushing towards me. Maybe we got to start fighting fire with fire. Maybe we can just start calling these people like, yo, why is this loser woke explaining to me right now? You're a woke male. You don't understand the plight of us regular people from your ivory tower at the New York fucking times, pal. But all kidding aside, man spreading was a male thing because of pesky little things called testicles. Uh, but with masks, no, I'm not gonna call it man slipping. This is not exclusive to men in any capacity. Why don't you just call it mask slipping? Boom, now we got a gender neutral. Experts continuously remind us that to protect ourselves and others against the coronavirus, a mask should cover your face, far from the bridge of your nose to under your chin. Women wear masks too, and of course they sometimes slip. Yeah. I would assume so, but I see a lot more man slippage. First of all, don't say slippage. Second of all, just if you see a lot more men with their masks slipping, that doesn't mean anything. That's just a cheap anecdotal excuse, essentially. It's not all men, of course. Yeah, no shit. But then not all men take up two or three subway seats. Yeah, no men take up two or three subway seats. Something about some men seems to make it difficult to keep that mask where it should be. Ugh, maybe it's just us stupid ADHD men. We just don't know how to do it. We just keep messing with it. Maybe it's like really hard to keep it on because you know, we, like we can't put it over our gaming headphones. Could it be that male noses are just so big that they can't accommodate masks? Remember the various dubious anatomical explanations for man spreading? I like how he says it's dubious. It's like there's, there's nothing dubious there, pal. Maybe he just doesn't understand the concept of having testicles. It's not dubious. There was just a legitimate anatomical explanation for it. Could it be that men just need more air than women and children? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's the one. I mean, have you seen how how us men walk? You know, we gotta keep that alpha male vibe going. You gotta like... 
Also, I don't want to be picky and focus on reality, but you can breathe through a mask. It's not as pleasant as breathing without a mask, and you may feel that you deserve more air than you are getting. Or that, okay, yeah, whatever, this is like, now we're gonna get some demeaning talking to from a fellow man. This is like when the youth group sits you down to give you the talk. This guy tries to be all relatable over here, he's like, but too many of us are letting our masks slip. And now over here, he's like, now boys, you're gonna be going through some complicated changes. Like this is grounded on nothing but his own anecdotal experience. I hate it when a couple men ruin it for all of us. Now I know how minorities feel. Still the simple fact, and President Biden wants us to return to facts. <laughs> what? Okay, is that men have no greater need for either the subway seat or a free breathing nose than either women or children. We're not gonna leave the man spreading thing in 2015 where it belongs. We're taking on COVID and now we've gotta take on man spreading also. No man thinks that because they're a man, they're deserving of more free breathing nose area. Finally, there's the possibility that men are just slobs. This is probably the one he thinks. They're always hitching up their pants tucking in their shirts, swiping their hair out of their faces, forgetting to wipe their damn ass. But this can't be true because John Roberts is, I hate how they try to put this, these, these little jokes in here. When I was first scanning through this article, I thought maybe this guy writes satire or something. But then I saw that he was a science writer. At that point, it just became abundantly clear to me that he is just trying to mask his dipshittery with a couple corny jokes. A lot of my criticism of these woke tard types is pretty similar because all this kind of crap, this trying to pin not wearing your mask properly as a man thing, that harms dialogue. I mean, I guess there could be a conversation to be had about how some men are raised thinking they can kind of do whatever they want or push the limits more because they're a man, maybe? But this is a far cry from any meaningful conversation. There is no nuance here because this guy is not interested in having a nuanced conversation. No, he wants to just shit on men. I am left with the conclusion that man slippage is like man- Okay, stop. Stop with the slippage. Some of us do it because we are, well, men. And you know what men are like. I mean, I know what- I know- I'm a tough man. Eat your vegetables, go to bed on time. I don't let my mask slip, but it's not because I'm pure at heart. It's because I'm terrified. I'm scared of the virus and of breaking the rules. Okay, whatever. This guy's scared, which you're actually wearing a mask to protect others, not to protect yourself. So the fact that you're even saying that you're wearing it out of fear is a little weird. And to say you're scared of breaking rules. This is really stupid. This guy's actually like making a really poor argument for why you should wear masks. I'm all for wearing masks. I'm not for shaming men based on a couple guys you happen to see letting their masks slip. Well, there you guys have it. If you ever accidentally let your mask slip for a second, then just be prepared because you will then be crucified on behalf of all of us men because you are now representing all of us. And you know what? That goes especially to you, Florida men, because I do not want to be associated with alligator fucking. New York Times crapping on men for probably the dumbest reason imaginable. Please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks everyone for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am really sick and tired of this New York Times and these sexist tropes and all this crap. Enough is enough, okay? So I'll see you all later. Honey, get me a beer now! I'm just kidding, I love you, please don't, I don't wanna die.